what's good beautiful people on this friday it's your girl shani your little big sis and welcome back to always keep the faith fridays where i am just giving a motivating nugget to get you through the end of your work week because mm -hmm, it's friday on today going into the weekend so that you can enjoy your weekend ahead whatever you have planned and whatever that may be i am chilling today with my mary j blige what's the 411 shirt Shout out to Target for, you know, having some cultural shirts that I can go ahead and dig in. I was actually low-key, high-key surprised when I was looking through Target's t-shirts and saw this shirt. I was like, what's the 411 of all the albums? Target? Okay, I see you, Target. I ain't upset about that. Um, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about today, but I just figured I'd go ahead and point it out since Mary J. Blige is one of my favorite artists. And actually, her real love this is this is gonna date me her real love cassette mm -hmm. single when they were 99 cents yes um was the first thing that i ever bought for music i think i was in fourth or fifth grade and that was the first cassette that i ever bought my first real choice in music was real love <sighs> anywho that's neither here nor there what am I talking about today, people? Well, a lot of you that have iPhones, sorry for the Androiders, are able to access Clubhouse. And I will admit, there's been a lot of apps that have come out that I have not caught on to, like Snapchat. I'm still not on TikTok, even though I know it's great for entertainment. But when I was invited to Clubhouse, initially I slept on it for about a month because I really didn't know what to do with it, really didn't understand it. It wasn't until I started taking my voice over acting classes with Miss Rolanda Watts that she said, all right, this is a good uh, platform for you to go and, you know, link up with other voice actors and learn from voice acting coaches and just get a lot of information and advice. And she was right. And on top of that, I just realized that it opened up to a whole nother world because you're not just getting a chance to connect with these people, but you're actually being able to hear them speak in real time. And a lot of times, some of those networking um, opportunities can go offline where you can actually get some real work done. Anyways, I was in a room um, with some other voice actors and we were just kind of chopping it up in general about how to market yourself, how to get yourself out there. Um, you know, voice acting is uh, amazing, but it's also very competitive and, you know, just how to make yourself stand out. And, you know, there's always conversations about marketing and logos and branding and all those things. And then one of the people in the group, and her name is Kim Andranga, and I'll have to tag her in this, um, but she said something that I thought was so profound, and I don't even know if she realized it, but thankfully she repeated it again because I, someone asked her to, and I wrote it down. And she said, your smile is your logo, your personality is your business card, and your brand is how people feel when they leave an interaction with you or when they leave your presence. I'm gonna repeat it again. Your smile is your logo, your personality is your business card, and your brand is how people feel when they leave an interaction with you or when they leave your presence. I thought that was so dope because in a world where everything these days is all about, you know, oh my gosh, well, what's your brand? Well, you know, do you have a logo? Um, you know, what is it about you? Um, it can be sometimes intimidating because not everybody is about marketing themselves in that way. But at the same time, in the way that she described it, everybody has a brand. Everyone can lend that smile. Everyone has a certain sense of personality and everyone has someone feeling some kind of way when they're in their presence, whether it be a good thing or a bad thing. There are some people in my life that their smile completely lights up the room for me. Um, their personality is so engaging and I always wanna be around them. And when I leave their presence, I know that I have been in the presence of greatness. And then there's others that I ain't seen they smile in a minute. Their personality is meh. And I'd rather not be in their presence because when I am, I leave feeling like, why did I do that to myself? And ultimately, that's something that we all have to remember. Who we are and how we carry ourselves in the world is always saying something. Even if you're not trying to be a social media influencer or if you're not big on social media or you're not making YouTube videos or not putting yourself out there, just your everyday walking, living, breathing life is a brand. You're putting something out there for people to be able to take in and they're either going to take something in that is going to leave an impression on them that's going to make a difference 
in a good way or possibly in a bad way. And I just wanted to share that with you today. Nothing too long, nothing too crazy, but I just thought that was an amazing tidbit that I figured that I would share and I really am grateful that I heard that because that was something that made me smile and made me realize you're right every time that I step into the world and I give that smile and I share a little bit of my personality and even in doing this saying a little something something from Friday to Friday I'm hopefully putting something out there in the world I think that my brand is just encouragement and motivation whenever people see me and see my face I hope that that is what they remember oh yeah that's that girl that said something even if if it didn't make any sense at that moment or that time hopefully that's the impression that I'm leaving and if nothing else I am a little bit of a smiley boo boop so more than likely I'm smiling than not and if nothing else hopefully I'll be able to leave people with that so what's this week's faith fact ultimately your smile your personality and whatever your presence exudes that other people can take from is your brand you are a walking, talking, living brand. And don't ever forget that. You don't necessarily have to be in social media or be doing anything on the outside, but just know that anytime that you are in the presence of someone or they're in your presence, they're taking something from you. And hopefully whatever it is that you leave behind is something positive or at least something engaging that they'll remember in a good way. Well, that's it guys. But it's still Friday. I still got a weekend. Saturday and Sunday and God's willing so do you and hopefully whatever you decide to do with your weekend you will enjoy it thoroughly. Well you all I love y'all. Be blessed, be encouraged, and you know the motto always keep the faith and let the Lord fight your battles and until next time which will hopefully be next Friday I'll see you. Take care. Peace. Want to get a dose of motivation every Friday? Well, hit that notification button to subscribe so you never miss out. And feel free to share the encouragement with a friend. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram at Shanice Speaks Now and keep the good vibes going week long. Thanks so much for watching and see you next Friday. Real love. I'm searching for a real love, someone set my heart free, <laughs> real love, I'm searching for a real love.